James Zanzi Koo. Actor Presley Tsuniakai has landed on the wrong side of the law as he was allegedly arrested for assaulting his wife at the beginning of this month. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News in Zanzi. Now if you're new to the channel, you know you love the stories, go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. So according to reports by the Daily Sun, the incident happened on September 5 where he and his wife had altercations which saw him detained at the Pretoria North Police Station on common assault charges. Now the Rivers Cobra confirmed this to the publication and even went into detail about what transpired. He said he and his wife had an argument about his car after she refused to give him the car keys as he had to attend to a work commitment. He made it clear that he is not a violent man and that it was the first incident to happen between him and his wife. I left her after taking the keys. The next thing, I got a call from the police that a case has been opened against me. There was no assault on her on myself. I followed the relevant protocols by handing myself over to the police with whom I am cooperating with, he told the publication. He then spoke about his stance with gender-based violence, that he's a huge supporter of the cause. Like any other couple, he and his wife and mother of his children have their fair share of arguments, but he says he had a lot of respect for her and would not want to hurt her. The publication, however, claims to have seen a different statement, which was written by his wife, and it details what happened as such. He grabbed her by her clothes during an altercation. He refused to give, uh, she refused to give him the car keys because he always takes the car to drink with his friends and his friends take the car and never bring it back. He then started fighting, pulling her with her clothes and pushing her with fists. Now the veteran actor said he cannot speak on this matter any further as it is in the hands of the law. Gender-based violence and femicide is a big problem in our country. I take it very seriously and would not wish it on anyone, male or female. I've previously been active on awareness of such issues and will continue to do so in my personal and professional life. As husband and wife, we do have disagreements. More than anything, she's my wife and the mother of my kids, and I have a great respect for her. It is just unfortunate we find ourselves in this situation. The matter is with the law enforcement agencies, and I wouldn't want to comment further to for the sake of my family, he concluded. Now, there you have it, Nzansi. This is a very, very sensitive issue. As you know, we are, as a country, trying to deal with gender-based violence. So, leave your comment on the comment section below. For now, you know, I will bring you the stories hot, just the way you like it.